Simon. Generally speaking, everything you do is for humanity. Why? Why are we working? Why do you care about the politics? Why do you care about multiplanetary species? Consciousness, you mentioned that, but like, yeah. do, do you ever get like, feel like that's maybe not the case or not true? Um. Well, I mean, there's certainly at times when I you know, have doubts about these things. Um, I mean, I think that's a good question you ask because it goes to, like, what it, at a foundational level, what is my philosophy? And why does it lead to this conclusion? So the, the reason uh, is that when I was uh, a teenager, I had, like, an existential crisis to try to figure out what's the meaning of life. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any meaning. For me, at least, the religious texts, and I read all of them that I get my hands on, did not seem convincing. Then I started reading the philosophers. Um, you know, be careful of like reading German philosophers as a teenager. I don't know if I'm not going to help with your <laughs> depression. <laughs> so reading Schopenhauer and Nietzsche, I'm like, <laughs> now, as an adult, it's much more manageable. But uh, as a kid, you're like, whoa. Um, so, so then I was like, man, I, I'm just like struggling to find meaning in life here. And then I read uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and basically what Douglas Adams was saying is that. We don't really know what the right questions are to ask. Like, the question is not, what's the meaning of life? Uh, you know, uh, in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in the Earth, Earth, it turns out, is this big computer, that's, and, and its goal is to uh, answer the question, what's the meaning of life? And, and Earth comes up with the answer 42. Uh, this is where the 42 number comes from. Okay. Uh, and 420 is just 10 times 42. Well, yeah. In, in that book, with it, which is really sort of a book about, it's an existential philosophy book uh, disguised as, as humor, they, they come to the conclusion that, no, the, the real problem is, is trying, trying to formulate the, the question. And to really have the right question, you need a much bigger computer than Earth. And so maybe I'd like, one way, of, I think, way of, of, of characterizing this would be to say the... <clears throat> The universe is the answer, what is the question? What are the questions? The more we can expand the scope and scale of consciousness, the better we can understand what questions to ask about the answer that is the universe. The, the more we can expand consciousness, uh, become a multi planet species, ultimately a multi cellular species, we have a chance of figuring out what the hell's going on. And so, and this, this, is, this is why I think we should have more humans and, and, and more digital, both, both biological and digital consciousness, um, and why we should become a multi plant species and a multi cell species, is so that we can understand the nature of the universe. And then, in, in order for that to occur, then we have to make sure that things are good on Earth. Um, we don't want Earth to... to Despair. Uh, so, sustainable energy is important.